At Bob Mills Furniture, we're proud to lend our support to the Storm Search 7 team and ConnectAmarillo.com to bring you up-to-date weather info first, fast, and accurate. Click on this video for the Bob Mills 7-day forecast to help you plan your week right. And now, the area's most accurate weather forecast with Storm Search 7 meteorologist Shelly Seitz. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back and thanks for joining us. Temperatures warming up quickly. We're already well into the mid and upper 50s. It is 57 at Bowie Middle School and Paladero High School, as well as Carver Elementary and ACAL. Temperatures this morning in town, well, they varied from 36 here in downtown Amarillo to 31 there at Tascosa High School. Further down to the south, temperatures did drop down to freezing at trade winds and below that at Lake Tanglewood, currently sitting at 56 degrees. Across the north and the west, temperatures dove down below freezing into the upper 20s. Right now, it's 56 in Dalhart, 54 at Middlewell, Sunray at 56, all across the north and the east. At the Robert Clark Ranch, it's 58 degrees there, already 60 at the Old Mobile Museum and Wheeler, and even a degree warmer than that in Kelton. Further down to the south, it is 60 at both Elm Creek Ranch and Sam Norwood, 59 right now in Memphis, where their temperatures stayed above freezing last night. Across the west and southwest, drop below freezing there at Friona. Current temperatures, 55. 52 is your current temperature there in Clovis, and you dropped right down to the freezing point. Our school night site there, Channing, currently sits at 54 degrees. So far, their high for the day. Our frost points down to 25. Relative humidity is awfully low, and winds, well, they're gearing up. They're out of the west and southwest around 15 to 25 miles per hour. Let's go ahead and move on then to that satellite radar composite. Clear skies once again over the Lone Star State. High pressures built in over the western portions of the nation, or especially the southern portions of the nation. No rain here in Amarillo. We're not expecting any for the next couple of days. In fact, the next several days, we're not expecting any rain. It's unfortunate, but at least it's going to be warm this weekend, and especially for Veterans Day, for any of you have any outdoor plans at all. 63 is your current temperature right now at Dallas-Fort Worth. 61 in Del Rio here in Amarillo, right at 57 out at the National Weather Service. Our computer model forecast suggests we're going to see a high around 60 degrees. Winds will be breezy throughout the rest of the afternoon. Plenty of sunshine is expected, and tonight, clear to mostly clear skies. Could see a few high clouds move in from the west, but in general, plenty of sunlight expected to start the day. 33s are low, so we'll say one degree above freezing here in town with southwest winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Throughout the day, we could see again a few more high clouds scoot in from the west, but in general, we're still going to see plenty of sunlight stream through those high cirrus clouds. 67 is our expected high for the day tomorrow. Very comfortable with southwest winds only around 10 to 20 miles per hour. They could gust a little higher at times, but in general, it's going to be a very pleasant day, much like today is. We are calling for a high around 58 in Clayton to 66 in Childress, mid to lower 60s in between, including 60 degrees right here in Amarillo. Blue skies abound with southwest winds breezy at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Winds will die down somewhat tonight, but it looks like our temperatures will stay just a hair above freezing, if not right at freezing there in Canyon. And tonight, 29s are expected low in Clayton to 31 in Perryton, 36 in Childress to 33 right here in Amarillo. And over the next several days, well, not a whole lot of rain in sight. In fact, no rain in sight, but some strong winds are. Saturday and Sunday, you can expect at least 20 to 30 mile per hour winds with a cold front moving through during the day on Monday, bringing our temperatures into the lower 60s, a lot more seasonable for this time of year. So this weekend, it's going to be unseasonably warm, mm -hmm. but really pleasant, you know, especially for, you know, celebrating Veterans Day. By yeah. the way, thank a soldier if you see one or are able to. And we have the parade yeah. coming up, so just in time, a little exactly. warm up, not a lot of breeze. Mm -hmm. People will be happy with that. Good deal. Well, I know a lot of folks are happy with this dog's rescue effort, um, but a surfer in Portugal catches this massive wave. I think he's probably pretty stoked about that. <laughs> That's right. Take a look at this. <laughs> 